We're giving the Dirt Church an upgrade, a screened in, bug free cinema right here. Astro Kids and their journey to the fifth dimension. But first, we have to get the cedar posts that we charred last night. So we're digging two feet. And we're going to put the charred cedar posts deep in the holes. So pretty much all the off-grid structures here, we use these charred cedar posts as the foundation. So we char pretty much two and a half feet up from the bottom in the fire pretty for a pretty long time, 10, 15 minutes, until like you can scrape it and you don't see any of the wood underneath, pretty much when you think it's gonna go on fire. Um, and yeah, that protects it. So if we were just to put them in bare, uh, insects over time would rot the wood and it would fall over. But because the insects don't wanna eat the char, it protects the wood and makes the structure last a lot longer. The pole is just slightly too big to get underneath the roof, so I'm going to saw it up a bit. Oh. Woohoo! I'm going to throw some rocks in for some extra support before we bury it. It just kind of helps it stay in place better. I'm going to just pound it in to make sure the dirt's packed around it so it's not just all loose. Just pack it in. Just pack it in. One done, four to go. No. One done, three to go. <laughs> this is okay. Hi, I didn't see you coming. Cinna Jimmy here. I can provide emotional support, interpretive dance, and physical labor. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Cinnamon sticker too left behind, I tell you that much. Oh right? yeah? Gathered around the work site. <laughs> Cinnamon Jimmy! Either, either joints or cinnamon sticks are high. <laughs> Cinnamon Jimmy must have been here. Just chewing it like that. I mean, it's like an extension of my body. <laughs> All four posts are in, now comes the fun part. So we have our back support and the front support. We're going to attach these to the sweeter post. And then we're going to run cross beams that are going to be the support for the porch and then put all our boards on top of that. So right now I'm just gonna make sure it's level. And it's not. This board is a little too thick, but we can prop this one up a little bit, and that should be perfect. Cinnamon Jimmy, and working so hard. Cinnamon in his mouth, saw in his hand. Thanks, Cinnamon Jimmy, we love you. <laughs> yeah, I, I took one look at oh. it, that is not Last. You did amazing. <laughs> Tree is already sitting on the porch. Just screwing them directly into the side frame, putting some rocks underneath, and I think that'll be enough. Whoop whoop! Got all our deck supports in. Just the nice random spacing, keep things interesting. That's how we do it. How we do it. I'm gonna cut little notches on each side so that it fits nicely around our posts. Yay. So now we're going to hammer the floorboards into each one of these support beams. So exciting. A lot of the wood here isn't perfect. It's all recycled material, so it's kind of iffy. And this is one way we're working around it. And Julia's squeezing her leg towards it. And then I can hammer in. Gap. Can also be done less. with clamps, but yeah. Manpower. Julia power. Julia power. So every plank that we get in, we get a little gift, a little bit of pleasure in our life to reward ourselves. Two sardines. Sardines. <laughs> sardines. Cine Jimmy. Alright. Raising the bar. Off grid fan. Off grid fan. Off grid fan. You did amazing. <laughs> Off-grid fan. Off-grid fan. You did amazing. You did amazing. Which is great. Slip, slip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Cinnamon Jimmy. And working so hard. Cinnamon in his mouth. It's on his hand. Thanks, Cinnamon Jimmy. We love you. Snip, snip. 
snip snip now we screw in the nail snip 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 all four posts are in now comes the fun part it's like an extension of my body The deck is finished, it looks pretty cool. The work does not end there. Now we're gonna go straight into the roof. So I've gone over different plans a bunch of times for how to build this roof, but now I think I'm gonna do it just a really easy way, uh, working off the house, just slipping these boards into here and then making them level with another beam down here. And then we can just lay the roofing right on top and use all this support that's already here uh, to make this whole part really easy. Can you like mark something? <laughs> Didn't see you there. Thanks for stopping by. Cinnamon Jimmy, also known as Jumpin' Jimmy, aka Jimmy the Hammer. <laughs> First board is on. Now we just have to lean any, everything on this. No, is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Now I know. So we're just sticking the boards under the roof, connected them to our support, and we're just gonna lay the roof right on top of that. Do it the easy way. So I'm gonna cut more boards for that now. Cinnamon Jimmy left and took his impact driver with him. So Tree just went to go get another one. On the roof of the dirt church. <laughs> Yay. Let's see what's actually on the roof. <gasps> dirt. As expected. <laughs> Calling it a day. A lot of progress, a lot of work was done. I'm tired. I'm tired. Two. Council? Nope, two. There's food. This is the progress we've made. Now we have a porch decking area. Holes in, and we've got the frame ready for the roof to go on top. Then next we'll have to screen it in. And where I'm standing right now will be the cinema. We're dirty and achy after a day's work, so we're gonna shower. We have our little system that we made, which is really cool. One of these bags up there on a rope, on a tree, and it's being suspended. And we have these screws in this tree. Thank you, Mr. Tree. And this plank of wood, keeping it up. And Julia now can shower. And it's adjustable down to turn it on. It has a separate thing that's higher up, so it comes down a little bit, but then you can release it like that. Shower to the sunset. So it's a new day to get working on this bug free cinema. This car. And as you can tell, there's some chairs already up. I mean, it's not the final kind of chair arrangement. We're going to have some wicker chairs, hopefully, a nice sofa, a couch. But for now, it's pretty good. Last night, we put some practice into it and had some fun with a lot of friends. We found some dumpster wine. So it's already starting to come together. We still need to finish the roof, get that up there. So we got this roof in here from the scrap yard at the garden, um, but it's got a lot of random holes in it. So I'm gonna fill them in with this adhesive. So we secured the ceiling a bit more. Now we're gonna go take a break down by the water. Chop off the tops of the posts. So now nothing is stopping us from putting on the roof. I've woken up, there was two horns just blown, and that means breakfast is ready here at the garden. And that's how we kind of let each other know at this community that there's stuff ready. One horn blow is coffee or tea, two, food, and three is council. And this is where we eat. You find your peanut butter? No. Did not find the peanut butter. I had eggs 
Back to work. Back to work. We're putting up the roof and we're gonna just try and slide it up here and just push it all the way down. I think I should be able to go on the roof of the dirt church without any problem. I don't really see how I'm gonna screw it in otherwise, but we're just gonna kind of put it up there and then figure it out from there. Hold it. Mm -hmm. So first time doing roofing and now I'm like, hmm, why is it flopping like this? Well that one's not. I'm like, oh, they have their boards sticking out a little bit. I cut my boards right at the end of the roof. So unscrew, rescrew, slight adjustment, but live and learn. There you go. Woo! We did it! Alright. Now we screw in the nail. Now we screw in the nail. We now screw, we screw in, in the nail. Now we screw in the nail. <laughs> it's just like, I wish you guys could see what it looked like. It's just like <laughs> popped up. It's okay. So Jules, how long have you been roofing for? This is my first time roofing. I was sitting out in a damn sign down at the chicken house. You're welcome. Come hang out. How does it look, Jeff? How's the porch? Uh, looks good. Floor? I think it looks really good. So we've got this mostly attached, but we need to attach the outer lip. But first, we've got to cut this guy in half. <laughs> Woo! Did it. Under him. Now we have the whole roof in place. The only thing left to do is screw it all in and attach the bug net. It's actually pretty hot up there, so we're gonna line it with this. So the roof is on, we need to find a piece of wood that's perfect to attach the mesh door and we need to get the screen for the cinema. Could we use bamboo? It looks very nice. How's the port? Which is great. And there it is. So the idea is we can sit here, we'll attach this somehow using some more cedar posts make a cinema. So the door is actually only this big so if we attach this bamboo right here then we can attach the door to the bamboo and then we'll create an extra little slot for here. Wha bam So we're gonna figure out a way to put the projector up there. Just like that. All right, guys, we're almost there. Tree's putting up the net right now as we speak. The sun is setting. Will we make it to movie night? We still have to put up the screen and get all this netting attached. You can't see anything but the screen, but the cinema is in action. So the bug-free cinema last night, a little test around. Soft went, opening. Yeah, went amazingly. Even with what we had, it was still a pretty good event showed me the potentials of the bug free cinema when it is going to be after par. Mm -hmm. And what we got to do now is just finish off the netting and then sew this extra netting on, fix that little part and then set up the screen. So hopefully the projector can just boom straight to it. So at the garden we already had tons of screening and that's why we're doing this and we're using it and repurposing it. So even though it's not the perfect size, now we're gonna trim off the excess and then try and attach it. So we have the excess piece that we cut and now we're gonna reattach it to here on the seams and hopefully fill in the gap. Snip, snip. Staple, staple. Julie is in the porch. She's free from bugs, except the bugs that are already in here. 
We stapled this up, but we're realizing maybe it's not that stable and strong and it could easily rip. So we're gonna put a piece of wood going all the way through and all the way back. Let's go find the wood. And the railing is in, hiding the mosquito net. And that means the porch is finished. Now we gotta figure out how to turn this into a cinema. We're in the deep depths of the night. Yeah, we haven't been able to figure out where the screen is to go until it's dark out, so otherwise we won't be able to see the projector. So we've been doing technical things all night long just to finish this project, but we're almost there. We've got the projector up here, and we're gonna beam it onto here, but we need to figure out where is it gonna be. So we've positioned it up, and this seems like the prime spot. So now we can dig some holes here and here, put the posts up, and we're done. We've had a blockage. Why are the plastic in the oil? Tired tree. But the holes is dug. They did all the digging. Posts are in, the porch is finished. All we need now is to put the screen up with some screws. Smash that like button. The porch is finally finished, thankfully.